Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Amy. This is The Opinionated Woman, and welcome back to my series, One Last Try, when I take authors on my chopping block and I decide whether they're leaving my TBR for good or whether I'm going to give them another go in the future. This vlog is going to be about Mary Kubica. I have read two Mary Kubicas before. Both of their names skip my brain, which is one of the problems that I have with Mary Kubica. Um, I'll just put the pictures here. These are the ones that I've read so far. <laughs> One of them I found incredibly frustrating because she basically labelled her main character as very low in IQ and then used that as an excuse for why she didn't see very obvious things, which kind of pissed me off. And then the other Mary Kubica made me genuinely frustrated because it felt like it was building this anticipation. Building and building and building. And then football happened. Absolutely football. And it was really, really frustrating to read. So, um... I've heard a lot of people talking about The Other Misses by Mary Kubica, which is the one that I'm going to be reading in this blog, and we'll see how this one goes. Um, all I know that this has got to do with a, a family. They moved to Maine into this house that um, the husband has <clears throat> been given in a will, and they also have to look after the 16-year-old girl, and they have um, kids of their own, and I think we're going from Sadie, the wife's point of view. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, Mary Kubica is a thriller writer I can actually read from. Okay, so let me set the scene for this book. They're on an island in Maine. So, kid goes to school on the mainland. Mom is a doctor. Uh, I cannot remember what the dad does. I don't know if they've said anything about it. But this child that they've now had to look after is a 16-year-old emo, basically. Emo or Goth, one of those, and the way she's described is so damn stereotypical. Oh, her eyes were rimmed with black eyeliner. She had a shirt that said die on the front of it. You know? <laughs> and they talk about her so threateningly, and I'm like, you've got an edgy teen. Like, <laughs> like that was me, <laughs> except for the eyeliner, because I couldn't put on makeup for shit, you know? So, yeah, that description, the, the writing is not my fave. I think it's kind of clunky. Um, but I'm, I'm still willing to give it a chance. I know some people really did like this book. Um, and now, so because they've moved to this little island, it's a very small community, you know all your neighbours, all of that kind of thing. And in the middle of the night they heard a siren from an ambulance going up the street and they thought it was to go to their elderly neighbours. But of course uh, it wasn't them. It was a younger mother in the, um, in the community uh, that was murdered. So now the whole island is a buzz with, oh my god, there's a murderer on our island. Dun, dun, dun. So that's the point we're at right now. Um, intriguing. Um, I'm intrigued also what the title is, The Other Misses. So yeah, so far, alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, a great excuse for listening to your audiobook is cleaning, and my bathroom needs a good old clean. So I am going to listen to the other misses, try to get into the meat of it, while also getting down to business and cleaning my bathroom. But of course I'm going to change into something less pretty than this, because we don't want to get messed up. I am risking great sweats doing this, because I've turned my aircon off so you can hear me. Um, so I'm listening to the other misses, and this is what gets to me about this writing. So basically she know she's late for an appointment she hasn't realized that she you know she's lost, lost track of time so instead of just taking notes that oh she's lost track of time they maybe reiterate that in like three or four different ways so she's like oh she looked at the clock and she's like i couldn't have stayed uh, have gone that far behind and i couldn't have possibly and then she's like, so, so I checked my watch to see if my watch was slow. But my watch was the same time. And the time on the watch also matched the time on the clock. I'm like, no shit, bitch. That's how time works. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is why I needed to get this out right now. Otherwise I would have been measured and calm. No, that, like, that, that's part of the writing style that really irks me. Hmm. Hello, hello. So, I've had a very, very busy morning, but luckily a very busy morning listening to my audiobook. Um, I had to take my brother in for a procedure. I'm like doubling on the 
about this information and my um, and my weekly vlog. But um, yeah, I'm in town for a few hours, so while I walk around, I'm going to be listening to the other misses. Um, not too much has happened besides the um, protagonist going into a memorial service she shouldn't be going into, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. Since I'm in a beautiful setting, I might as well update you in a beautiful place about some terrible writing. Um, so basically, the way this is written, so she goes to this memorial service of this woman that she didn't know. She's that she's just been a nosy bitch. Um, and she goes, and her and her husband had a conversation before about going to this memorial service. And he's like, I don't think we should go. You know, we didn't know her very well. We didn't know her at all. It's not really, you know, it's weird. It's weird to go to a memorial service like that. Um, and <laughs> so she goes anyway. And then she says, like her inner monologue is like, I haven't told Will that I went yet. So obviously you can just stop that sentence there. Because you know Will's going to be mad that she went because they already had a discussion about this. And she's like, but she, very Kabika feels the need to go, I haven't told Will about it. Because we had a discussion about how we shouldn't go. And because I went, now I don't want him to be mad because I went. And I'm like, oh my God, you could have saved like four or five sentences in there. Like she just repeats redundancies and it's very frustrating. I am going to give this book the whole hog though. So yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, this book is still annoying me. <laughs> So, I, I mean, we can probably say that this is not going to work out, but if she gives a kid an ending, maybe. But I, ah, oh, this writing, this writing, oh my god. Um, she's talking about how, because there's a knife, not in the knife block, that she thinks that the child, like the 16 year old, is going to murder her, like murder them. And I'm like, because she's like, oh, she's a damaged girl. But they literally do no parenting of this child. None. She gets to stay out whenever. She gets to do whatever she wants. And she's not in therapy. And they're like, oh, she's so difficult. And I'm like, she found her mother hanging. Like, that is what happened. Her mother hung herself. And she walked in and found it. It's not a, a spoiler. It's right in the beginning. And they just talk about this child. Like... She's scary when, in fact, she's just a traumatized child and they suck at being parents. So, yeah, um, I forgot to say also that we get the point of view of um, his mistress. It comes across very, very quickly. Um, you know that he's had an affair very early. Uh, the wife talks about it. Um, and then you also get a perspective from this child called Mouse. And I don't really understand what these are for. I know it'll probably link up later, but it's just a child talking about their dad and their stepmother. I'm not really sure what those uh, chapters are for, but I suppose we'll see later. Hello, okay, I have yet another excuse to listen to my audiobook. Um, I need to do some deep cleaning of my main area. I'm just going to clean the floors, um, take all the furniture, move it, sweep and mop and during that i'm going to listen to the other misses i think i've got like four hours left or something like that and i really am waiting for this book to end <laughs> to be honest i am interested to see what the twist is going to be like what the reveal is going to be like there's a couple of things like I, I i can't see where it's going let's put it that way so that's a good thing that's going for it i guess um yeah we'll see how we go cleaning time this character is so fucking annoying Oh my god. So I told you that this murder happened um, in the community, right? And one neighbor has said uh, that our main character, I can't fucking remember her name because she's so annoying, um, <laughs> had an altercation with the woman who died, but that didn't happen um, according to our narrator. But she is getting all up in this freaking murder for no reason. She's not she's not got any investment in this she's literally just snooping to snoop and it's like i'm like bitch what the fuck do you think you're doing she's stealing people's keys breaking into their home checking in checking people's mail like opening up people's mail and stuff like that and i'm like you're not trying to solve anything you didn't know the person you're literally just snooping and being incredibly dense about it don't understand this book at all. I'm just going to be being moaning about the writing, but I do have to note that there's not a lot of good dialogue in this book. 
a book in this book either um the a lot of the time the character will have conversations she'll the other person will say something and then we'll go off on a freaking tangent as she has this whole exposition in her mind and then sometimes she doesn't even end up responding to them they just sort of shrug it off and i'm like where is the actual conversation so i don't know much about this character at all besides that she's a snoop oh would you look at that lighting okay i'm just going to do this for a second um I've been deciding to motor through this book because I'm really not enjoying it and I just want to get to the end. Um, and either it's going to be a really convoluted ending that I wasn't expecting or it's going into a stereotype that I fucking hate and I'm getting the really bad feeling that it's doing that. But we'll see. I got like hour and a half left. It. They did the fucking harmful trope. Mary Kumbika can sit on this and spin. Okay. I am going to power through the end of this so that I can make an informed rant at the end of this. Stay tuned. All right. I'm going to start this off by saying spoilers. Um, so if you don't want to get spoiled for this book, don't watch this. But I don't recommend anybody read this book because yet again, Yet again, <laughs> this fucking drives me insane. Mental health was the twist. Oh, I love it when a mental illness gets freaking, gets demonized for a plot device. I love it. It's so fucking fun. <sighs> so we find out there's a bunch of different things that happen to this woman. Like her son would say that they had some conversation that she didn't remember. Um, you know, she would be in places that she said she wasn't. She had like gaps in her memory and stuff like that. And I'm like, if they say that this is another personality, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. And that reaction from last night was when I lost my fucking shit. Because, oh my God. So... <sighs> In the beginning, or like earlier on, she gets diagnosed with bipolar, right? Which is what I have. <clears throat> Which annoyed me to begin with. And then basically the whole book comes to a head where she's found a bloody washcloth in her washing. And she's decided that because she's found a bloody washcloth in her washing, that must mean that someone in her family killed the lady up the street. Yes, it makes no sense zero sense but this book as you've seen from this uh tirade besides having a terrible terrible stereotype as a plot device it's terribly written it's really badly written it it feels like there was no editor working on this absolutely no editor the repetition was ridiculous and it wasn't even repetition as a stylistic choice it was repetition as in someone hadn't gone in and gone, okay, you, you don't need to say that three times in a row, you know? So, they diagnose her with DID, which is dissociative, dissociative Identity Disorder, which is a condition that is still being researched. Like, I have a therapist and one of his patients has DID. Um... Uh, we were in a psych hospital together. He didn't tell me this. He's not a, he's a pro um, And even he said that this is something that people are still really researching because it's not something we know too much about and The way that they describe it in this book They like give her all of these things as if it's something that's in the DSM-5 that's been actually you know they're not educating they're miseducating. She's just giving you all it so if someone would read this book and then go, oh, I know a bunch of stuff about DID. People can trick these people because they don't have any memory between one altar to another. That means that people can trick them into doing murders for them. I'm sorry? Like zero, none of that. None of that is true and none of that is proven. In It's just demonizing mental health yet again. I've got spray paint on my fingers. Ignore that. And it just drives me fucking nuts um and it's lazy it is so lazy it's like what they can't find a better way to end their crappy book so people just decide to, oh make them crazy 
it pisses me off. So I don't recommend reading this book. I don't understand anybody who found this book good. Um, you got to like really think outside yourself and try and figure out why you didn't see a problem in this book. If you read it and thought it was fine, because from a mentally ill person's point of view, this book was, besides being written really badly, was really harmful. So yeah, this one last try series is basically just me throwing authors in the trash. But I suppose at least now I know that I don't have to pay any attention to any of Mary Kubica's new um, releases. So that is the most ranty I think I've ever got about a book on this channel. Um, <laughs> I think it's because I didn't read The Wives by Taryn Fisher on here because, oh damn, same problem. Trash book, that is also a trash book. Badly written, bad premise, bad, 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 bad. Anyway, that is the end of this one last try. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please give me a like and maybe a comment and subscribe down below to see new versions of this and I'll check you next time.